if you're asking your employee to work after office hours, it's beyond their job scope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a failure. <laughs> okay. They should have the right to say yeah. no. I also yeah. don't have to pay bonus end of the year, it's fine. Okay, Attitude yeah. It still affects performance bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's like a tech. Large. Ooh, okay. Working outside of office hours is acceptable. Discuss. What happens if there's a job to be done and it's after office hours? I hour? think there should be a fair compensation for it. You mean to get paid over time? Yes, or like off in lieu. It's dangerous if, if the new generation has this kind of opinion because it feels very entitled. I think you must yeah. think of work as you are part of a team. And the team's job is to make money for the company. Traditionally, if you are seen as executive, there's no overtime but pay. The bosses are texting us at very late timings. No, I don't think it's acceptable. I've been through a lot of stress through that because it affects my physical health. I noticed that a lot of Gen Z recognise that our jobs are a means to an end towards our own personal goals, our own personal passions. <laughs> <laughs> we should be loyal to ourselves over our company. Discuss. I agree. Everything I do is for the for my resume. I've heard stories of people who have been working at a company for a very long. The next thing you know, they get retrenched or fired suddenly. That anytime they can replace you, don't like give everything to your company. Yeah, I agree. But we shouldn't like only think about ourselves and not the company. I guess there's a difference between being loyal to yourself and mm. being selfish. Um, people are self-serving. The reason why they were loyal last time is because that was the best way of earning the best money. That also teaches older workers a new way of looking at things, right? Now whenever I hear people, people say that they stay in the company for five years, I'll be like, why? But I've heard when they jump jobs, they can increase their pay faster yeah. and everything. I feel like they jump too much, right? Then yeah. it will also be to their detriment now because mm. we can see. Ma. Yeah, You're yeah. not changing jobs. You must think of building your career. <laughs> I need, this, this must be a non-Gen Z game. <laughs> Gen Z employees cannot handle workplace stress. Discuss. I do feel that the resilience of the younger generation compared to my generation at my age was a bit lower. Okay? I had staff that just left. And the reason was, this job is too hard for me. In our old days, we are very shy to say these things. We feel that we will look bad for the next job if we leave less than one and a half. Mm. It is only the Gen Z's right, who dare to voice it out. Some of my friends who are currently working, they can handle the stress. But those who cannot is because they prioritise mental health. The issue now right, is that when Gen Z's uh, take the break, yeah. right, that work, right, you cannot stop. If my whole company, right, it has like 20 people uh, and all of them are taking mental health breaks, right? Well, how do I move on from there? <laughs> my bad. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Dennis. Close, close. <laughs> Having mental health issues shouldn't affect our work. It may affect our work, but you can voice it out. Is it okay if I delay the deadline for a bit while I also handle set up my own personal problems. When yeah. you're saying mental health, do you mean like, I feel very low today, I'm very stressed, I can't function properly, I need to go and do the yoga so I can feel the zen again. Can I just say this? It's crap for me. Okay? Unless you really have a medical issue. I've hired at least three people who has clinical depression. Okay, it means uh, they cannot get out of bed, you know. They actually I cannot I kind move. of disagree because some people who actually have mental health issues, they don't have the money to actually get a clinical diagnosis. Diagnosis, yeah. 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 I've been through like mental health issues in yeah. um, my teenage years, but I didn't have the money to actually go to like a clinic to get it diagnosed. Yeah. So I don't think you should judge based on whether we have the diagnosis or not. HR yeah. needs to make policy that is fair to everybody. Okay? So if they allow you to claim that your mental health issue and you see in one corner and your colleague is working, that colleague could be complaining. Now, if you're feeling low for the day, very simple. You take leave and it's a cleaner condition, then you take an MC. Perhaps the best way right, is to just take the time off for a while. Maybe just tell the company, I am going to tender because I need to work on myself. I think this is very subjective. The onus is on the individual to kind of also recognize where they're being professional and where they're just like kind of skiving, to be honest. Ranting about work on social media is acceptable.
it is a problem that I can solve, right? Then give me a chance to solve it lah. Mm. If I have to know about it through your social media or someone comes and tell me like, hey, did you see what uh, Jill put on her social media? I think she's talking about us. Uh. Mm. I'll be so damn annoyed. I would agree actually. I think it's very unprofessional. The only caveat I would like say is fine is like, Perhaps if you have like close friends list on Instagram or like private account or something like that. Even if you don't care for a company and everything, they of course have a reputation to uphold also. Yeah, right? and then if people have a bad image of you, good luck getting employed in the future. I feel like the Gen Z people are not the ones doing the renting. Oh. I feel. I okay. feel like a lot of like the millennials uh -huh. who was brought up with very uh, questionable uh, social media ethics uh, thinking that they are like the saviour, social justice saviour for the world, right? Yeah. But of course, the second, my second reflection is have we not done enough as a company to make our employees feel safe mm. to come and tell us all these problems? So it, I think it goes both ways. Uh. Your hand okay or not? Your hand okay? Uh? Can I have your Is it this one? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, okay.